Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Now for today's video, we've got some brand new footage from Camp Cretaceous to go over, featuring not only the returning Ankylosaurus Bumpy, but also a giant attack from a flock of angry Dimorphodons. This action sequence looks like it's going to be a pretty wild part of the season, which is going to be coming out in just a few days time. So just a few hours ago, Jurassic World uploaded this official clip from Season 3 featuring Yaz and Brooklyn stealing eggs on accident, apparently, in one of the episodes of the season. Now, I've thought this ever since we first started getting a little glimpse of the Dimorphodon's return, but don't those eggs look like they're kind of really, really big for that kind of animal? At least in my opinion, anyways. But yeah, it looks like they actually built some sort of nest and they were looking at them as rocks and they ended up getting attacked. I don't really know why the kids are up here in the first place, unless they're just sort of foraging around and looking for materials to survive with, or maybe they got chased here by some other dinosaur, but what ends up happening is this big elaborate gondola slash paraglider scene, which is totally being picked up on as what I think someone pulled out of a drawer from the Lost World. If you guys didn't know, growing up at the Lost World Jurassic Park, they released a lot of these paraglider things, especially for Ian Malcolm. It's a pretty cool design and idea taken from an earlier version of the script, which had AJ get ripped apart by pteranodons, but that's not not in the final film that's definitely not going to be in Camp Cretaceous. Uh, either way, it is pretty cool to see brought back here. Now, truth be told, we did already see a lot of this in earlier clips and kind of little still images from before, but one of the things that we actually got in here that we didn't get from anything else was Bumpy protecting Darius and Ben by ramming himself into a Dimorphodon that's kind of like swooping over to get at them. They had a really good opportunity to use the Ankylosaur tail and they didn't use it. I don't know why. I thought for sure when the Dimorphodon was like coming at the kids that you would see the big club tail slap, but no, nah, they just kind of hit him with his head. Headbutt. That's an interesting choice, isn't it? Either way, I think in general, this is a very, very exciting and interesting look at how to craft an action set piece with what's left over from the Jurassic World theme park. And you know what? That's something Camp Cretaceous has done really well. I, I keep saying this over and over again. It's kind of surprising to me how much Camp Cretaceous has been a true hit and I get why it's a hit it's very simplistic in story it's very easily digestible in tone it is Jurassic Park at a very very easy to understand level and a lot of it does feel actually in my opinion like they've taken the concept of Eric Kirby surviving on Isla Sorna and just made that into a cartoon series I know this is on Isla Nublar there's multiple kids but as you other fans will probably already know one of the earlier versions of Jurassic Park 3 also had multiple kids trying to survive on their own before that all got changed in JP3's production. In fact, you could actually see some of that stuff in the PC games like Dinosaur Battles or Scan Command that came out in the early 2000s. All in all, what they've shown here is pretty cool, and I'm actually surprised that in all of the material that we've seen so far for Season 3, we've got no look at the T-Rex, no look at Toro the Carnotaurus, a lot of blue, and very, very little of really anything else besides E750. The Scorpius Rex is definitely going to be taking center stage in this season, especially with some Dr. Wu looking pictures that got released recently. But when it comes to scenes like this and comparing them to what they had teased last time for season two, we got way more stuff. So it's really leaving me to believe that they're kind of trying to keep some of season three under wraps. I don't know why, unless it ties into, you know, further seasons down the line or maybe even Dominion, but I really think that the most I can say out of this little clip is that it looks pretty cool. Now I'd actually love to hear everyone's thoughts and opinions on Camp Cretaceous as a whole because it has been just massively popular ratings wise, critically, everything. And I want to hear what you guys think of this clip, season three as a whole, and everything else going on in the background when it comes to Jurassic. Honestly, I just really want to see the season already and see how it stacks up to stuff like the Lost World and Fallen Kingdom when it comes to that darker tone that they keep showing off in the trailers. Anyways, I think I've gone on enough. So whatever you have to say, I'd love to hear about it in the comments down below. 
Now before I go, I'd like to thank all of my game wardens, as well as all of my engine executives. I'd also like to thank all of my parkers and engine hunters as well. Guys, it seriously means the world to me that you all continue to support what I do, and I never want you to ever forget that. Now, I'd like to thank you all for watching today's video and hope you all enjoyed the content. If you feel like I deserve it, I'd appreciate the like and hope that you'll consider subscribing if you're interested in seeing me again. See you all in the next video, guys, and as always, take it easy.